Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem seven in chapter four. This one is a little bit difficult than previous one, but we can still work out easily. So, in this one, the question asks you to find the average force uh, acted by the shoot putter. So, average force acted by the shoot putter, and then we see what is the given quantities. The given quantities is the mass of the shoot, initial velocity of the shoot. And the displacement of the shoot, right? See, you can see all these given quantities is on the shoot. I then ask you the force acted by the shoot putter. So this obviously this is a Newton's third law. We can see in this one, the force the shoot putter act on the shoot must equals the force the shoot act to the shoot putter. In the magnitude, but opposite in the direction. Do you agree? Yes, this is Newton's third law. So in this way, ask the average force acted by the shoot putter, just equal to ask you the force the shoot shoot uh, shoot the force the shoot act on the shoot putter. Do you agree? Yes. And then we can see, can we find this force? Yes. So this force equal to mass. And times acceleration. This mass is the mass of the shoot, and also acceleration. We can get it from their motion uh, stations. We can see we know initial velocity, we know final velocity, and we know displacement. Super easy. We can get this acceleration for this shoot, and then use the mass times acceleration. We can get the force the shoot act on the shoot putter. Thank you. Now let's see how we do the calculation. So first step, find the acceleration by using this equation. We know initial velocity, final velocity, and and displacement. And then the mass is given. So we input the acceleration, uh, average as acceleration, and then we get the final answer. Thank you.